In many instances, there is a stigma regarding becoming an expat in Thailand. Stereotypical images of old men with vests slugging away on a can of singer beer and ogling the young Thai women spring to mind. In my mind, this is hugely misleading and in the majority of cases, just not true. Yes, you've certainly got your areas in Thailand more befitting of such views, like Pattaya, but it's far more marginal now than it's ever been in these locations. Trust me, it's where I am now. I live in Pattaya with my family. But it did get me thinking. What was the primary reason for people deciding to come and live in Thailand? And if stereotypes were to be believed, you'd assume women to rate fairly highly in any surveys. So using the various media at my disposal, I did a simple online survey and in a matter of days had an intriguing, if not huge, 89 replies back from expats living in Thailand. At the core to this survey was the question, what was your primary motive for becoming an expat in Thailand? Now, women most definitely did not come across as the driving force. In fact, almost one in four of the replies was a financial reason it's cheaper to live. One in ten cited the reason that they had friends living here already. So friendships and bonds were a far stronger rationale than sexual relationships, which would have come through from women being selected. A further one in ten came to Thailand more to leave their domestic country than the attraction of Thailand itself. One in five were work motivations, while 15.87%, there you go, very accurate, was due to the warmer climate. And after a recent trip back to the UK in February of this year, I can be reminded of how lucky we are living in Thailand with almost year-round sunshine. Much has been written about the sustainability of Thailand as a retiree destination. Yes, of course, there are other options. But to me, I don't think other countries quite hit the spot for all-round proposition.